It's been 10 years since 24-year-old Marilyn Bergeron left her parents' home in Quebec City and never returned. Today, her family and their supporters released new information, an image and reward money. They hope it will finally help give them the answers they need. Cindy Sherwin has more on that. This security video shows Marilyn Bergeron at the time of her disappearance on February 17, 2008. This is what police think she would look like today at the age of 34. I've lost these last 10 years with her, um, but we were very close, and um, I miss her every day. Her parents and older sister Nathalie won't give up the search. You know, they're still asking themselves, is my daughter still alive? Um, did, what happened to her? An upbeat person, Bergeron was living in Montreal in 2008 and worked at Steve's Music Store. Uh, shortly before she went missing, that spirit was gone. She seemed very concerned, very afraid. She moved to Quebec City to live with her parents. She told her mom that she would go for a short walk, be back in a couple of hours, and uh, we, we found out later on that she stopped by a Caisse des Jardins near her home to withdraw some money, and she ended up on the south shore of Quebec City, where she stopped in a Café Depot to buy a coffee, and from that moment onwards, she vanished without a trace. A year later and every year after that, the family has struggled to find out what happened. Last year, they hired lawyer Marc Belmar. We uh, decided to, uh, to talk to the public and to tell them that they can talk to me. I am not the police. It's all confidential. They received more than 80 calls, some suggesting Marilyn was in Ontario, but they couldn't prove it and still want the help of provincial police. The police of the city of Quebec was responsible of this uh, inquiry for 10 years. They did their best, thank you, but now we look forward and we think that Shortage Quebec should be responsible because they have more staff, more ex expertise. The family will hold a walk in May in the area where she was last seen. We know that she's somewhere and, uh, and we need to locate her. And the reality after 10 years, maybe she's deceased. Um, and that would be a really hard reality, but if it is, I'd rather know then keep going like this. For the next three months, the family is also offering a $30,000 reward for information on the whereabouts of Marilyn Bergeron. Cindy Sherwin, CTV News.